Alright guys, it's Ben here. Uh, I'm showing you my very first Unity project I ever created. It was uh, for a module in my very first year at university. We were told to create a first person shooter survival game, which I did, and I based mine off one of my favourite series, which was the Stalker franchise. Best game ever. One of my favourite games anyway, at least. Uh, it's nothing like the game because obviously the game's good, <laughs> but uh, it's creates it's got the same atmosphere, dark, decrepit, zombies, etc. Very very cool. Um, I'd like to mention this was the very very first time I ever touched Unity. Um, the reason it's on my portfolio is because I quite like the game. I think there's potential to improve on it. Of course there is. Uh, it's not very optimized, but I do plan on working on this eventually once I stopped on my other projects. This is one of the games I would like to eventually, you know, show uh, before and after pictures because it's obviously the very first game I made. Uh, we were allowed to use assets off the asset store uh, for this project. Free ones. I don't think we were allowed to use, we wouldn't be able to pay for ones. Anyway, I'll jump straight in. You've got a very basic menu system. Uh, no settings, just a very basic. I just jump in. So. The map, I believe, was an app off the Unity Asset Store, and I also believe the characters and all the animations are from Maximo. Very, 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 both are very good. Very good uh, assets to have in the game. I'm very happy with them. Um, so the first thing we have is movement, as you can hear, or as you can see even. Uh, we got jump. We got sprint. Uh, there's no crouch because at the time we didn't really need it. Uh, there's only one place you could really crouch, uh, and it, well, clearly at the time I didn't think uh, it was any point of it. Um, we have sound, so you can hear footsteps, you can hear jumping, you got slow footsteps, and you got shooting. There's no zombie sound. Uh, I actually did have zombie sound, but uh, I obviously didn't add it into the game for some reason. Uh, I did find some zombie sounds, but at the time I didn't obviously implement it, but it, it wouldn't be hard to do. It's not that difficult. Uh, that's not rocket science. Uh, the bullets I use, um, or I, I actually use a raycast system, so when I shoot, it hits the, uh, hits the colliders and kills the zombies. Um, I do plan on eventually adding uh, projectiles. I'd like to you know, like visually see something coming from the barrel, um, but I would like to use projectiles instead of just an instant hit from the raycast, but um, that's something to do in the future, uh, but I do would love to do that. Um, yeah, we're using nav mesh and colliders to uh, make sure the zombies can walk in walkable areas and non-walkable areas and just make sure the correct places are walkable, and the ones we can't aren't. And uh, like I said, colliders as well. To stop them walking into each other. Um, so yes, the zombies. The zombies have three animations. You've got a death animation, an attack animation, and a movement animation. And there, are, I believe, at the time, are f five type of zombies. you got two, which are one hits. Uh, the other ones are uh, five hit. It's a bit tanky. And then you got a fast running one. And then I believe you got the boss. The boss. The big boss. One of my uh, my favorite. My favorite one out of them all. Uh, let me see if I can... So, uh, the, more you, the more you kill, uh, the, the zombies start spawn. The harder the zombies uh, spawn. The harder zombies spawn. There we go. Try not to talk when I'm shooting because obviously it's very loud. So they're the fast ones running over like champions. Uh, I, all of them have different animations, uh, attack animations and such. And let me just kill a few of these zombies. So we do have a boss that spawns. Uh, I have no idea where he is at the moment. Map, but he definitely is here. He's definitely floating about somewhere. Let me find him for us. Uh, this guy's called the Brain Buster. There he is. And as you can tell, oh my god, he's already started. Although you don't take damage, it messes up your visibility. Um, I mean, it shakes the camera as well, and it makes it harder to aim. 
It obviously doesn't need some improvements because it's. But yes, that is called the Brain Buster. It's actually one of my favorites. So, right now, I'm just going to get my kills up. Uh, he's. He's 10 hits to kill. Uh, the reason I'm getting my... Uh, I just need to improve my um, kill count is because we have... Uh, the high score is currently, I believe, the best is 58 now? 55 or on the high score? So I just want to show that it works when uh, you input a name and uh, it gets uploaded onto uh, a server. But uh, like I said, I'll show that real quick once I kill these. Right, 6 day is probably good enough, so I'm just going to... So there's a death animation as well. And uh, let me just say, uh, Ben's FPS. Uh, continue, and then we go to high scores. And there you go, in the bottom left, number 5, Ben's FPS. Um... This is a dumbed down version of the game. I just wanted to show it real quickly. Um, and I believe that's all. This is a project I will be working on eventually. And like I said, it's in my portfolio because I quite like the game and I want to show it off. Um, thank you very much and uh, goodbye.